Hello, His Church. Welcome back to our weekly devotional. Hope everyone had a wonderful Easter. Uh, going into uh, the devotional for this week, I want to read from Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. Well, I'll read 4, 4, and then 6 and 7. Uh, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I think it's so interesting that the Bible tells us that when we pray, that we do it with thanksgiving, that when we let our requests be no made known unto God, that we do it in thanksgiving. And when we do this, that the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. We heard a great message on Easter Sunday about God's peace being a free gift. And as we grow in Christ, as we go through trials and temptations in our walk with God, there are going to be times when we want to be negative about things. There are going to be times when we want to sit and pout about things. But the Bible is so very clear here. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, Rejoice. And if you have to do it again, rejoice, and again, rejoice, and again, rejoice, and again, rejoice. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. And that's where the peace of God will keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Our peace, I believe, is directly tied to our praise when we are thankful in all things, when we are rejoicing in all things, no matter what we're going through, no matter what we are facing in our lives, if we are praising God, if we are worshiping God, His peace is going to guide us. It's in His Word. His Word does not lie. If our hearts are full of thanksgiving in all things, then His peace that passes all understanding will keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And so as, as we go about our week, as we go through our prayer requests and our praise reports, maybe take time to read the praise reports first and, and let that boost your faith. Let the, the, the praise of, of people's uh, answered prayers boost your faith. And use that as a stepping stone. If, if you need a stepping stone to, to raise your faith, to be thankful for something. Um, and, and the other, and, and use that throughout this week just to be grateful. Read through our prayer, prayer, praise reports every day if you need to. And just be thankful for what God is doing in other people's lives. And believe that if he's doing it in their lives that he can do it in your life. And the other challenge I, I want to give is I know so many times when we uh, think about praise and worship, we think about music. And I love music. I think music is a, is a great way to, uh, to, to start your day in praise and worship. But I challenge you to set aside the music and, and just be in a place of quiet and just praise God, not because of a song that's on, but because of the things in your heart that you're grateful for. Begin to praise God out of the abundance of the things he's done in your life. And see, and just, just see what happens when you start to worship him without music, without any noise, without any distractions. Just take a few minutes every morning to praise God and just see how his peace goes with you throughout your day. And I believe that God's going to do it because that's what his word says.